Hi. In this screencast, we're going to talk about setting font family using CSS. If you've used rich text editing software like Microsoft Word before, then you should be familiar with fonts like Time New Roman or a lot of others that you can choose from. Uh, I will show you some fonts that are more commonly used in the internet world where people can easily read through uh, web pages without any difficulties. Uh, so let's look into a file that I've created inside my CSS folder. I have an index.html. Let me open it with my top style. And you can see here that I have a HTML document uh, inside head, uh, head tags. I have the style sheet set up with three classes okay and let's look down first inside the body section I have a table with three rows okay and inside each row I have one cell only and with some texts and some line breaks okay and I've uh, uh, made this word strong which is bold too and then uh, each cell I assigned a class to it, okay? So the class Arial will apply to this cell only. Uh, the class Verdana would apply to this cell only, and then this, the class Helvetica will be assigned to this cell only. So let's go up to look at the cell, um, the class decoration, declaration. Uh, you see here that we have uh, set up three classes, right? And the way you set up a uh, font family is you do font dash family and then colon. And what you do here is you assign the list of uh, font styles uh, or fonts that you want uh, here, separated by commas. Okay, so you'll see that uh, the Arial class starts with Arial, and then comma uh, Helvetica, comma Verdana, uh, comma. After the last comma, this last um, rule or last attribute is uh, how, what kind of a text decoration it should have. Uh, Sans serif is uh, a type of uh, text decoration where it doesn't have uh, the loopy um, uh, loopy things around the, the end of the letter. Okay, uh, let me just show you real quick. Uh, like the Arial, like these texts um, are sans serif. Okay, and uh, Serif would be like Time New Roman, where it has uh, little uh, loopy tips. Okay, and so let's preview this page. Okay, uh, before that, uh, so what what the browser would do is it'll see if your computer system have has this uh, font or not. Okay, if it does, it'll use it. If it doesn't, it'll go to the next in the list and look for this one. Okay, and if it doesn't have this one, it'll look for this one. And if not, uh, if all of these are aren't present in your computer system, then it'll uh, use a default font. Okay, so I have Arial set as the first for Arial class, Verdana set as the first for Verdana class, and then oh, this one is wrong. I want Helvetica to be in front of this so I can show you what it looks like and then take this to the end like that okay and I just used uh, control V and control uh, C this is copy and paste shortcut on your keyboard okay save it minimize it let's view it in the browser So, yeah, as you can see, uh, they're a little bit different. Arial is uh, a little bit tighter, okay? 
uh, Redena class uh, font is uh, letters. Uh, the spaces between letters are a little bit wider. Uh, the, the letters are fatter. Okay, you can see. And um, uh, Helvetica is somewhere in between. Okay, so uh, these are the three fonts that are used majority on a lot of the web pages. Okay, it's easy for your eyes. You know, it's not curvy. The letters don't bunch up together. Uh, and it's just easy to to breeze through when you're reading articles on uh, other people's web pages, especially um, there are tons and tons of blogs and news out there, uh, and uh, you want your user or re your reader to breeze through as fast as possible. Okay, and so that's it for um, font family. Thank you.